Love is in the air for many every year when Valentine's Day approaches. And while we often say we love with our hearts, here's what love looks like in our brains. When we meet someone and we make a connection, whether it's the person we fall in love with or when we meet our children for the first time, there are huge changes that occur in the brain that make lasting connections that provide a, a deep sort of connection with that individual. There are neurochemicals in the brain that signal the pleasure of interacting with those individuals and drive those motivated responses to engage in those social interactions with those individuals uh, in the future. Maybe you picture Cupid with an arrow, but your mind is experiencing a joyous chain reaction. Things like dopamine and serotonin and norepinephrine. So these are chemicals that are synthesized by specific brain cells. So they signal lots of uh, key factors that drive motivation, pleasure, and arousal. If these reactions are so crucial in forming loving bonds, how early do they start happening? The first impressions are, are really important because that's when we establish that the individual that we meet is receptive to social interaction and engaging with us. And if that person is not receptive, then there are chemicals and signals in our brain to tell us that we should probably maybe not make an effort to engage with that person in the future. But if there's a connection there, uh, it's really those first few seconds in the body language and the nonverbal communication as well as the verbal communication, which makes that connection that drives us to engage in the future.